Hello, monsters about here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 23 of my Kugath campaign, where Kugath is back and Kislev is large and in charge. And Kislev is now in a lot of trouble. I do not like the the, the graphic on this water. It looks awful. Like, it looks way too choppy. <laughs> Like, if it was the sea or something, I'd be like, okay, that sounds fine. But is it like a, a small, fast, slow-flowing river? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Only seems to be in Kislev, though. Don't know why. I found that Little Grom is quite susceptible to being blatted by Death's Head. So we're going to get our Death Head flies and just bomb it from above. And that's going to have a pretty... Pretty devastating effect on it. Yes, there we go. Fantastic stuff. The other rock flies coming in from behind because it's Streltsy. Trying to get some shots off on the rock flies, but it's doing very little damage. And now the plague bearers are in amongst them. Great unclean one, just mashing everyone. He's a big tanky boy. Over the other flank, we have Kugath and the Soul Grinders, who are laying down a fairly devastating barrage on the flank and then moved in to trample some people to death. Oh, this is sweet, sweet revenge. Try to take Kislev off of me, will ya? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, it looks like the enemy army seems to have had enough. I don't blame it. I love I love my little um, Plague Bearer hero boys riding around their lazy boys. They look so relaxed, so chill. And why wouldn't they? Riding in style. Do I take the replenish? It's literally 1% replenishment. It's, it's really not. I'm just going to take the cash. Bring them to them. Just going to take the cash. And no rest for the wicked as we head right on to Ballsgrads. Ah, oh, good old Kugath cooking up a storm. Now, this particular map has most of its location sort of weighted towards this side of the settlement. There's just this long sort of pathway that leads up right to the top here. So what we're going to do is we're going to send Crow Botherer, Aretha Franklin and Adele to basically just, because they're the fast moving, they're the fastest moving units we have in our army. So what they're going to do is they're going to smash up this. Now you could, that's going to take a long time. They're going to take a lot of fire. Well, no, not when they're supported by the Rockflies who are going to come in from the side here and just mop up all of these missile units. Meanwhile, Kugath, the lazy boys, and the great unclean ones are going to smash in the front door. So you got the Rockflies now coming in from the flank there, taking a little bit of fire, but uh, that's nowhere near enough. And suddenly, this doesn't look particularly well defended. Can I just say how I... I know this is like a minor thing, but I love the fact that you kind of have this path leading to this gate here. I mean, it could have been a little bit further along, but, you know, it shows that there's that's being that's a gate that's being used. I like that. I like little details on the map. Like this one over here. See? That's pretty good. I like that. See? I think it's good. I mean, there's a bit of snow there. That's fine. It's, it's, not, it's not the important thing. So Soul Grinders, Crow Botherer, sweeping up there already, almost the top. No problem. That was not very well defended. And they're throwing more and more units at us over here, but it's just not really enough. Considering this is, you know, the bulk of our army. Well, the thing with choke points like this is the fact that you can throw one unit at a time and it will keep 
will keep that enemy army busy for a little while as they try and smash through it. Especially Kislev, where you kind of have that 30 seconds of unbreakable. It's basically another 30 seconds where that unit is going to hold you up. That's why fighting Kislev is such a pain in the ass, Isn't it, Kislev? Hmm? Not many units left to uh, fend off our attack at the top here. And of course, once we've taken this, these units may well fall back to try and defend the upper ground. They're building a barricade here. That's not really going to help them. We've just murdered our way up that path. Like, no issue. Oh, what a good idea. I have... I'm so smart. Soon your weirdly flat apples will be ours. Assuming those are apples and not oranges. Who knows? Not important. Okay, we are bludgeoning our way to victory. Plague bearers coming up behind. We've got some more plague bearers flanking off around here as well. Take the other path. That's fine. The enemy general riding around on his bear. This settlement was not really prepared for this level of, of assault. Even with the army. The army had been plagued. Right, Crow Bother is taking that victory location. We're sending Aretha Franklin and Adele up here as well. They'll help capture that location. There's just a, a patriarch trying to stop us. But he's not really going to be able to stop us. In fact, I may, I may send Crow Bother just to punt him. Punt him out of the circle. Just be like, nope, this is ours, you little monkey. Go away. Go on, shoot. Boop. Goodbye. Perfection. Okay, so we'll take this little victory location. That should be ours now. Haste it. We've got this one as well. Most of the enemy units have been dealt with. Is this like larches there? We've got that little train. Oh, it's like mining. I can't help but feel like mining underneath your settlement is probably a really bad idea, but. What do I know? Ah, the enemy general is dead. And with him dead, the settlement's ours again. Okay, that's Ball's Grass taken. Thank you. Yep. It does. It really, really, really does. And it should really get a lovely new name. Ball's Grass. Perfect. It's much easier to say. Right. Okay. So, everyone's got plague. We've wiped out several stacks. Everything's coming up, Nurgle. That's exactly what it should be. Uh, we've also... Right, we're ambushing over there. Oh, also, we had... Did we have... No, we were waiting here, weren't we? So that's fine. So, couple of fights there. Okay, good. And you, Spurts Mildew. Ugh. Father Nurgle. Oscar the Grouch. Or the rubbish bin monster, as my little boy likes to call him. He also keeps getting Bert and Ernie mixed up. Much to my chagrin. Oh, God. it's obvious which one's which. He'll never be your mastermind. Anyway, right. So these orcs are not necessarily my problem, but I might bring you down here just to keep an eye on this. As you can see, it's all very fleshy around here. Big, big blobs of pink goo. Probably lubricant. Stink of command. Clan Kizor. You have warpstone, yes, yes. Um, I mean... Lovely, lovely warpstone. Okay, you're quite fixated on the old warpstone. That's fine. To be honest, I'm more than happy to make deals with you because you probably won't kill me. And there is a stack there. But it's going to be mostly goblins, which, I'm going to be honest, I'm not at all worried about. Now, how much money are we making? That's the question. 
So we're making 3.2k there, making 2.5 here. Goromadi's making 2k. I mean, this is generally fine. Um, although, if you have a look at like the Ice Tooth Mountains, now I don't think there's any particular buildings here that make them a lot of money. It feels like most factions' economies can be at least as good as Nurgle's on a good day. Like maybe Nurgle can reach slightly higher due to like if all of the if if, if all of the planets aligned. And all of the buildings were at max income at the same time. Potentially, you could make quite a lot of money. However, I do believe that considering Ice Tooth Mountains here is... Is that... Wait, who owns the Bay of Blades? Oh, it is them. Oh, it's... Uh, I, I thought it was a, a f outpost. It's not. Um, yeah, so they, they're in the whole of the Bay of Blades and they're making more money than I can make um, for the most part, which is you know, not ideal how do I get rid of you again? go, go, go away, go on, shoot shoot, shoot, that's plan. there we go, right, um, good, so uh, I mean, you know money wise we're doing okay and we can make a lot of money by sacking shit which is good but it does feel like your base economy is not, not, not great it's not the best. Let's build up some defences here, particularly anything that's going to like increase our corruption. Phadrian. Phadrian! I'm going to bring you down here. Keep an eye on stuff. I mean, basically just keep... I mean, I, I want to keep... Like, it's going to be plague everywhere. And... Plague everywhere. And basically just keep them kick them down whenever they see an enemy stack we wipe it out and keep them keep them sort of like busy and then try and hit Prague because if we could hit Prague that's gonna be some I think it was like almost a hundred K for sacking that and uh, I'm down I'm down for that I should have done the other one first really uh, never mind okay if we attack you Pyrrhic victory. I am more than happy to take a Pyrrhic victory. Okay. You're now fired. Sorry, mate, but I just don't need you. Good. Uh, you're also fired. You, Oki. You could be my my big blob on the ground. Okay. Now we, oh, that, See, we're only losing 130 now, and we've got Two armies and three three provinces. <laughs> Two armies, hooray! Ah, oh, it's so good. Right, we're gonna we're gonna hit Prague though. That's gonna make us big money, and uh, then we can probably get another army up. So that'd be fine. I do I want to do this? I mean, all this really does is give me slightly more infections and slightly more money. But to be honest, it's not really probably worth building it right this instance. Uh, outpost we could build here. Building a carrot exifin is probably the best idea because that's the most sort of like protected. So we build that there. Then we can get some ogres. I mean, I don't know if I actually want ogres, but may as well. Do I build you as well? Fuck it. I'm gonna be loaded any any turn now. This time next turn will be millionaires. Hello? Hello, oh no. <laughs> what a good name. <laughs> You're gonna live up to it. Oof. Like the curtain of ooze that he had dripping over him. Poor Rono. Oh no, Von Karstein. Manfred is not going to be happy. Is he ever happy? I mean, this isn't even. I don't think it's the Von Karsteins. This is uh, Templehof? I think? Or the me? I can't remember. It doesn't really matter. The important thing is that they're all going to. I think it's Templehof. What the fuck are they doing up here? Kill the dwarves instead. Right, is that dragon dead? I went, yes, is the answer. I mean, doubly so any second now. Because I think it's trying to get out of combat, but um, it, it it didn't make it. Nope. 
Nope. He dead. I mean, for good this time. And this poor little army. I mean, it's already played to hell. How how do how do ghosts get 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 the Rona? Exactly. I don't. I'm not sure that's how it works. But never mind. The important thing is they they did get it. Andrew Wakefield there weighing in. I'm sorry I didn't get you a nice present. I was going to get him a nice gift from the from the realm of corn. I was going to get him like a big chainsaw with. My, my legendary lord went to the realm of chaos, and all I got this was this lousy chainsword. But unfortunately, someone else had it. So, oops. Never mind. He's fine. He doesn't need it. I mean, it'd be nice, but he doesn't need it. He can pretty much murder anyone anyway. Oh, well, that was short and sweet. Uh, let's take the money. Don't really need Biscar's base chance. I've got so much health that even if I do explode, it doesn't really matter. That's what she said. Right. There's a little army massing over there, which I probably should deal with. Plus, that is their capital. How much money would I make from murdering that? 3k. I mean, it's it's not, not much, but... It's not much, but it's something, isn't it? It's something. Oh, you've got plague. What a shame. If the rats take that, that is perfect for me. Because if with any luck, they'll also then take Nashrak's lair. And then I won't have to worry about Ungrim for... Much longer? For long? Again, for the moment. I'll say for the moment. Let's go with for the moment. Oscar the Grouch is gaining immortality. And are you... Now, I don't know if you will come to each other's... I don't think you will come to each other's help. Or will you? Oh, I think you will. I think you will. Interesting. Uh, do you... What plague have you got? Okay, perfect. Right, let's go and kill these dwarves. You're going to run away, which is fine. I mean, this... Un this, no. To be honest, no one should have got away from that, because literally Goodbye, everyone died. Master. Oh, my stuck fight I can't... Sorry, I'm going to have to kill you. I don't really want to kill you. I'm not really that invested, to be honest. I'll take the money, though. I bring the plague Hello, dwarfies. Uh, oh, the only problem is, the Iron Drakes seem very, very mean. So I might fight this one just to be on the safe side. Oh, they really don't like Andrew. They're really trying to kill Andrew. Or Andrew. That's eh, no less than he deserves. Cannonballs right in the face. Fortunately, he doesn't care. Uh, they also may well set him on fire. Maybe, maybe a little bit. Yeah, okay, well. Honestly, flame... Fo <laughs> flame throws and cannonballs in the face, and Andrew's just like, I'm sorry, Did were you talking to me? Okay, we've got Wul Wulrich, Wulrich right in the back there, spawning in more plague bearers to intercept those artillery units. The Flesh Hounds sweeping in from the flanks there and knocking out those Iron Drakes. Another great unclean one being brought in to help out. And these dwarves are now completely and utterly surrounded, which is not what you want. When your army has a lot of missile units, this is your nightmare. But all your missile units are currently being melee attacked to death and you can't use them at their best. And this is kind of where missile units can, or missile heavy armies can fall down if they get surrounded too quickly. Uh, things tend to go pretty pear-shaped. Something I learned in my co-op with Mr. Smart Donkey and Lionheart, you can move the reinforcement marker, and it where you move it depends on how long your reinforcement's gonna take, which is really cool. Nice little, nice little point there. Is he dead yet? Yeah, close enough. Oh, 
are six losses. I mean, we do have a lot of infections, but let's have more. Let's have more. Oh no, what plague did you get? It's the wrong plague? Kind of is the wrong plague, but I think we'll be fine. Okay, so let's go with Blade Shield. Father Nurgle. If we go ambush, I think we're in range to reinforce the city if they attack. So that'll be fine. This uh we do have we do have this rebellion to deal with. The garrison here seems okay. I feel like we should probably leave an army behind to protect this area, but what I'd like to do is get Andrew to push into Kislev uh, from the east. However, I do think we're going to have to kill these guys. They're in the way. Also, I've still got this horrible... I mean, the effect isn't actually that bad as long as I'm not in my own territory. So that seems fine. Um... There's a few archers here. A lot of enemy cavalry. Right, so it's, it's mostly just enemy cavalry, really. I probably could order to resolve this. Yeah, that seems okay. I'm okay with that. Do we have the wrong plague on us? We do have the wrong bloody plague on us as well. That's better. That's more like it. You might actually be in range, which would be a slight issue, but I can probably pick you I off. No Yikes. A horde of dwarves and... Wow. That... Jeez. Who the hell are you? Oh, well. Repair that one. Uh, yes, this gives more Nurgle Corruption, doesn't it? Yes, more Nurgle Corruption. In the, I mean, we've already maxed out the Nurgle Corruption, to be honest. The Zinch Corruption is coming from this portal over here. I mean, with any luck, it'll start spewing out demonic hordes that will then start wrecking their settlements even more, because obviously I've been killing their armies, haven't I? <laughs> uh, sucks to be them. I kind of want to spread some. Maybe, 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 maybe we should spread some more plague. Just, just throwing it out there. Stuff which is like. Oh, I should research that really, shouldn't I? Um. So that's going to give you attrition and slow you down, which is fine. And then let's just make that spread more plus last longer. Which is going to be a real shit for you to deal with. And let's send it to Wolfenburg. And we've already got plenty of plague around here. Oh, mind you, Kislev doesn't have a plague. Unbefucking leaveable. Well, let's do the same thing. Uh, chance of spreading, increased turns, infect that one. There we go. That'll then spread more plague. All that kind of good stuff. Perfect. Research-wise, now I want that tech that gives us the... Is it festering? There we go. Nurgle Corruption. That's what we want. Like a fly lying its eggs. Keep warm. Incubate. An aid to the plague. And these guys... I mean, this, this seems fine. We've got a little bit of extra garrison there, just in case. That's going to bolster that. Uh, the growth... I mean, we could maybe do with more growth here. Can we do... I keep forgetting about this. That would give us another 200 growth a turn. So let's do that. Foster. So that's going to give us a little bit extra. And we've also got the... I mean, how, how many units could I recruit, actually, come to think of it? So we've got two of those, 12 of those, 10 of those. And we've got another great unclean one. They are quite expensive, but... They are good boys. I could actually replace Andrew's Plague Bearers with Exalted Plague Bearers. How you doing, Jeremy? How's life? 
Do you want to write that there? Yeah? Okay, cool. Um, so I need to deal with Brazen Bloodcaller. So we'll kill this guy, race back down here, kill you. At that point, I mean, to be honest, I think the garrison would probably be fine. In fact, if we do something like that, uh, you don't have much. We reduce your weapon strength. And you don't have any ammunition. Less speed? Oh, I can't. Can't do another one. Wait, can I just infect the selection? No, I guess you can only do one of each per turn. Never mind. He's still raiding us. I'm not overly concerned about him, I guess. You just stay there, spurt mildew. Just keep, I don't know, spurting mildew, I guess. So you, no, you, you, you do you. You do you, buddy. Let's get a little bit of extra control here as well. I'm hoping maybe someone will deal with Ungrim for me. Foul pass. I kind of want you over here just because I'm somewhat concerned what... There's a lot of ruined shit over here. I'm worried that might be... Scarbrands going a little bit mad. I mean, madder. I, I also think it could actually be the demonic incursion armies. I wonder if that's what killed the Skaven over here, because there is a portal there. Maybe they just went nuts. Who knows? Ah, you are attacking. Uh, I think I could probably just all resolve that. Yeah. I'll take the cash. That's another Kislev army dealt with. How many have I killed now? Quite a few. I don't think they'll have much left. Good. Sin Dancer. Spinny. Settlement besieged. Uh, yes. That was to be expected. Wait, was that a quest for a sword of bloodshed? What do you want me to do for it? I'm interested in that. Hang on. Uh, that. No, that one. Objectives. There we go. Uh, eliminate the following lord in battle. Oh, that's actually going to be quite difficult considering I... Th th oh, no. You aren't actually at war with him. You're just very close. All right, fine. That's fine. Okay, let's meander down here. Oh, it should be fine, he says. Do we just leave this? I mean, Fort Ostrosk is there. I'm not... Let's not upgrade that just to be on the... Oh, hello, Ostland. Oh, not Ballsgrad. Poor Ballsgrad. Wait, can I reach you? Oh, I can reach you. Oh, my God. How many fucking Luminarchs have you got? Valmir. No. That's too many. That's too... That's, 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 too, that's too many Luminarchs, mate. You need to calm the shit down. Right, we need to come down here and just explain to Valmir why he does not need four fucking Luminarchs of Heish. That's, that is to be frowned upon. That will be frowned upon next time. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.